One London-based artist has taken up an unusual tool, the typewriter. It's now key to James Cook's art. Since 2014, the last eight years, I've just been um, uh, slowly learning how to, how to make drawings, but it never gets any easier. It's, it's always a challenge. I couldn't draw people's faces before doing typewriter art. Uh, in fact, I probably draw people better on a typewriter than I can draw freehand in sort of pen or, or, or pencil, um, just because I've done so many portraits. Depending on what you're typing, you'll use specific keys and you'll puzzle piece them together to make the drawing to represent the subject. So if it's a portrait of you know, someone's face, for example, you'll use for the, for the, for the pupils of the eyes, you, you want to recreate that sort of curvature of their eyes, so I'll use like a bracket symbol. Um, whereas, um, you know, if it's the shading, that you're trying to recreate someone's skin complexion, you'll, I will use uh, the at symbol because it has quite a large surface area and you can do blending with, with larger symbols. There's something um, really satisfying about kind of using this sort of limited palette of You've got most, you basically have about 44 keys on a typewriter on average. So you've got to kind of puzzle piece those letters, numbers, punctuation marks together to make a drawing. You see why I can't do this from home? It's so <laughs> noisy, everyone else gets sick of hearing it. <laughs> I've only ever had to buy three typewriters and the rest of what people have seen the work online or, or in newspapers or somewhere else. I normally get an email out of the blue Someone saying, oh, you know, we've got this typewriter, we've had it in our family um, uh, for, you know, for such a long time. We don't know what to do with it, we, or we don't know how to use it, and we know that if we give it to you, you can give it a second life. Like uh, how musicians um, play musical instruments, you kind of develop a muscle memory for like the weighting of the keys and sort of the placement of the switches and levers and that helps you to be very precise about the marks that you make on the page. Um, so going from a typewriter that you're familiar with to suddenly getting a new typewriter and it's all completely out, you know, it's like, um, it's probably equivalent of like getting into someone else's car and the seat's been pulled all the way back or all the way forward. It's, you're sort of out of, out of sync with, with, um, with everything. When available, like, I'll try and work outside as, as much as I can, so, Places like this, you know, because they're just on my doorstep. I like to take with me a portable typewriter, something that's lightweight with a carry case, and I will actually go and sit on location and do drawings. People are kind of confused to begin with because they think I'm writing a letter, uh, but then they sort of draw closer, and um, yeah, normally a conversation kind of sparks from, from people seeing the drawings. For him to be able to turn it into, you know, a work of art for painting and, and, and drawings, I, I think it's just amazing. So uh, it's, it's fascinating what he does and it's nice to see that, um, you know, the old is not dead yet. So drawing like this, for example, anything that's A4 or in size can take anywhere between um, four to five days. Yeah, so such as Big Ben, I mean, um, you've got the big clock faces, so, so something curved. So again, I've definitely used bracket symbols in this drawing. Um, all of like the turrets and the, uh, the windows normally have a pitch to them. And at that scale, you can use a capital A to, to get the pointy roofs. 